sorry, we're going to go to um, a magazine which is a lot more mainstream, but is also very niche mm. in, it, in its uh, ambitions and its process. And I think it's uh, it's quite a, su- a quiet success story. That's Selvage magazine, which is based around the culture of um, uh, fabric fashion, uh, making things with fabrics, um, you know, so upholstery and so on, and also the history and the illustrative a- aspect of those things. And uh, this is very much not, not my kind of magazine, but I gave this as a, a subscription as a present for my wife mm. uh, a year ago, and she loves it, so I've, it was who another Christmas it, present. Uh, who produces it? What country? It's is produced it? by, it's in, it's in the UK, it's produced by uh, a small team of people, I think based in North London. Uh, I think when they started, very, very similar to magazines like Little White Lies, they started by not really paying their contributors very much. But I think it's now evolved into a, a more professional thing. They've got good advertising. Uh, they have events. Uh, so there's a, a salvage brand which is um, emerging. And uh, again, it's very, very nicely uh, printed and produced magazine. I think it's uh, it's... Eight pounds on newsstands, but uh, sorry, nine ninety five on newsstands mm. now, um, and uh, I think they've defined a, a market and an audience, a readership, um, very cleverly, and they and they serve it very well. Did, did, were you familiar with this? Yeah, ab- absolutely not. And I think it's a, it's a really interesting hybrid between being a real fan magazine and and because you know it, it focuses on everything from you know I- embroidery and those you know specialist pe- you know features on various fabrics and and it is you know there's bits of it as well which kind of remind you of like of an old Berta magazine as well uh, <laughs> and uh, but you know but then also they take you on sort of the, some of these historical treks but yeah it, it's an interesting combination which this is why I find it fascinating as I said between being sort of you know very niche fan like and, and and then it's slightly academic at one turn um, and then it's a bit DIY and that's what's really lovely about yeah. it because it's got this mm-hmm. wonderful range when you go through it and it's it's printed on a, a just a you know, it's a, it's a great you know it's a great matte stock uh, you know that that it's on and it's again as you're saying it's it's collectible but I had a question for you John is uh, do you um regret um, giving uh, your your wife a subscription because she she might she you know she might kind of whip up some odd bobble hat like you see in here. I mean there's there's um I mean I don't I don't want to wear all of the things that they're encouraging people to potentially make. She hasn't actually made anything from this magazine okay. yet. I think it's, it's more of a vicarious thrill. Of, right. You know. well, it is, it, it, I think you know is that part of it as well because you know they have a story. In, in another about, life, she might have the time to. Uh, you know. I think it's I like, like when you buy a cooking magazine, you don't necessarily cook the recipes, but yeah. you love looking. At I them. mean, it, there's a wonderful piece in here called "Thoroughly Modern Modesty." It says the allure. Of the new demure, and they they they've got this this wonderful spread of I would like to say either Amish or, or Hutterite women probably um, you know f- photograph from behind, and then they just they then they they they, they deconstruct um, you know th- this type of sort of look and movement, and you know, I could also see it's the type of it's the type of title that um, probably more mainstream magazines as well would you know would be looking to for you know for inspiration. I, I'm, Absolutely. I'm sure they do. Yes, and uh, but it, it's totally non patronizing. and yeah. it just ha- it has a great tone of voice, and I think that every magazine is striving to get the tone of voice that's yeah. right for its readers.